My name is Wade Madison, and uh, I'm a leather worker. Ever since I could pick up a pencil, I've been drawing, um, and I've always been very creatively driven. Even like Halloween and stuff like that, I'd make my own costumes, and I, I've just always had this this passion for this sort of thing. But it's always been um, kind of back burner, um, especially when it comes to making things. So I have a friend who was doing leather work, and he inspired me to get into it. Um, he showed me, you know, just like some you know, entry level little things and uh, I just took it from there. Um, I uh, I found myself in a position where uh, I was in a job that I was very dissatisfied with and uh, some circumstances lined up um, where I was able to just kind of make a transition into self-employment, um, which was a process of kind of tripping over my own feet. There were a few different things, but finally I uh, landed on leather work and uh, I put out a few things and um, had some friends order things from Facebook and this and that and uh, in a couple of months I started getting some pretty decent traction and it just kept going from there and you know now I'm doing it full time. Uh, my sensibility has definitely changed. Um, you know when I started uh, I love renaissance fairs and stuff like that and when I got into this I was kind of leaning into the whole niche of making that sort of thing you know um, and you know in doing so I kind of found that you know doing a lot of you know carving and stuff on a, on a mass scale is uh, it's difficult uh, it's very time consuming um, and uh, you know I didn't want to cut corners or anything but I just kind of found my stuff getting a little uh, less and less complicated and uh, with a focus more on just those little details um, trying to make everything like you said as like crisp and defined as I could get them um, and not worrying about too many frills. I was really I was surprised uh, by how many you know artistic people there are here. Um, this community I shortly after I got here uh, my mother uh, encouraged me to uh, you know sell this studio tour that they do annually and I had no idea what a studio tour was um, and I was just kind of you know ushered into it and I was you know quite surprised and delighted to know that uh, there are so many like-minded people here um, it's been a it's been a real treat living here um, it's very peaceful it uh, which is just you know, for a quiet mind is is good for, you know, anything that, you know, requires a good amount of focus and attention to detail. And so, yeah, everything's just been, you know, everything about being here is, is kind of fed into, um, you know, producing, you know, satisfactory work. You know, one of the things I really enjoy about, about leather work um, is that it's, I've heard it referred to on a number of occasions as being kind of a dying art. And so, uh, not to, you know, sound uh, highfalutin or anything, but uh, I kind of feel like I'm helping to preserve, um, you know, something that's, that's uh, not so commonly done. Um, and so in doing so, I, I use a lot of, you know, hand tools and, I don't use industrial equipment or anything. Um, I have a few like, you know, um, presses and stuff like that um, for certain things, but I don't use like sewing machines or anything. Everything's done by hand. Everything's it's very tactile. And, um, you know, that's something that I really enjoy about it. Um, and uh, that's something that I found that a lot of people appreciate about it. Yeah.